All right, so welcome to the Java Champion Uncensored session. This is the session where we can forget the fact that there's you know, one or two Oracle people in the room and tell, tell the world what we, what we really think about yeah, the Java Champion. Yeah, we're missing Antonio. I don't know where he is. I, d I hadn't seen him for an hour or so. Yeah, okay. maybe a casualty of the party last night. Could you? <laughs> Poor Antonio. Okay, John, you can be microphone bearer then. All right, so what, what I'll do is I'll give like the, the five minute, what is the Java Champion program, how you become a Java Champion, like how it works. Um, so everyone's on the same level. And then I'll throw out some potential discussion topics that we can, we can kick off. Um, I'll turn on all the floor mics so we can just do it like a conversation. So you don't have to worry about picking up a mic, just shout stuff out, interrupt people, heckle. Um, and hopefully this will be a productive conversation. So we, the goal would be that we actually get some interesting dialogue that would, you know, A, help us improve the program, B, identify some problems which folks might not even know about with the program, or C, identify some value which we get out of the program, which might not be apparent if you're, if you're not um, following or you're not really tracking it as closely. Okay, so what, what is the Java Champions? The Java Champions is a, basically an independent group of folks who are championing the Java platform. Um, it is somewhat supported by Oracle, but it's mostly run independently. So there's a committee which does all of the um, new Java Champion acceptances. The Javian Champions, Java Champions mailing list is pretty independent and uncensored. You could, the champions post whatever they want there. I believe it's also, correct me if I'm wrong, is the champions list open to the public? Anyone can view posts? Okay, it's the jug, jug leaders open to the public then. The champion list is just for champions. Um, but you can, you know, it's pretty much an open forum for the champions to discuss amongst themselves, and there's quite a lot of folks who we implement are, the JVM. We are monitored though. Well, well, okay. Or of Oracle people monitor us. So it's, it's, it's uncensored, and there's a bunch of folks who are interested who watch it. Okay, so a little bit about how you become a Java champion. It's basically done by nominations, um, and there's five criteria for becoming a Java champion, which when somebody submits a nomination, they support the nomination with these five criteria, which Kirk's going to remind me what they are, perhaps not, based on how good his memory is working. And um, then there's a committee which, you know, votes on whether this person is, you know, kind of characteristic and represents this and is really supporting um, the Java ecosystem. Once you're inducted as a Java champion, it's like a kind of an uh, honorarium type thing. Like, people get inducted, but nobody ever really gets removed from the program, so. Um, um, you did. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the exception. <laughs> How to get kicked out of the Java Champions. Get hired by Oracle. <laughs> then, you, then you get demoted to alumnus status. So um, myself and... Okay, so um, Andre, I turned on the floor mics. Let us know why... The why reason why an Oracle employee can... If, if, it, if you're a Java Champion and become an Oracle employee, then you have to be let go of the program, is that Java Champions speak freely. They can, they can be pro-Java, of course, but they can also be against Oracle. Because what we care about is the Java community, the Java itself. We don't care about a single company. We care about everybody. Very good. Okay, so that's why I'm, I'm an alumnus now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, it really was an out, outreach program that was uh, designed by Sun. So they, they recognized there was a value in reaching out to all of the jugs. But they always also re re realized there was value in reaching out to the other network that might have existed outside of Jugs, which was really what people they considered to be the thought leaders in the industry. So for them, it was really uh, a way of trying to reach out to the community and trying to reach out to understand what's actually going on in the, in the, in you're, the community. You're waving your mic. Don't wave that. Yeah, I, I'm getting the idea that your wires are a bit wacky or whatever like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, okay. So I don't actually. I don't know why I'm wearing this, but you know, it's you're, okay. You're wearing it so you don't have to get closer to those mics, and you can be heard. 
Fantastic, thank you. And, and um, I, I, I think in, initially the program was, um, was kind of nefariously defined because I thought the program would define itself and we ended up doing um, a whole bunch of different things that I think were for the greater good of the community. I, I, I think of uh, some like the Blue Jay Project. Does anyone remember that particular incident? Yeah, you can speak, to, anyone want to speak to it or? No? Uh, it was an interesting thing because, uh, you know, the, 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 the guys who uh, started, the professors who started the Blue Jay Project, which was, uh, you know, as a teaching aid built inside NetBeans, had some really interesting uh, interactions. And they went into Microsoft and the Microsoft engineers looked at it and said, this is really interesting. And so they took those interactions and they built them into some products. And then finally, lawyers got involved and they looked at it and says, ah, okay, now we need to patent all this stuff. And they looked at the interactions and they said, ah, these are great. These, is, these are some of our patents, right? And all of a sudden, you know, the Blue Jays guys were like looking at, at their project and going like, if Microsoft patents all this stuff, all of a sudden, you know, this project is in dire uh, problems, uh, you know, and then, you know, somebody within our network got wind of this. And then what happened is that, uh, we had a discussion, somebody else had some contacts, we went back into Microsoft, we went back into Microsoft and we actually got Microsoft to withdraw the patent applications without really any fuss, muss or discussion. And uh, really that was, I think, uh, one of the positive things that the Java champions actually did to uh, keep things uh, in the open and keep a community alive. And, and there's other, th other historical events that happened, you know, like uh, Sun lawyers were going around suing people right, left, and center. We got sued. Um, <laughs> and we were threatened, shall we say. We sent, sent them a nice, you know, sawed off letter because we were uh, fortunately in the UK and they were trying to apply American law in the UK. So, you know, we we're able to... Um, um, but, you know, uh, and, and we went in as a Java champion list and we had a nice discussion about, okay, what's going on? And we actually managed to get Sun uh, to look at the lawyers and tell the lawyers to, you know, to calm down and to, like, you know, not, they could go after that group of people, but not to basically piss off their community that they had uh, worked so hard to try to communicate with. And, and there was, you know, there's a lot of other things that happened. Like the, I think the, the, the champions breakfast at, at uh, Java One, at least when Sun was running, it was a way for Sun to actually connect and reach out into uh, the broader community and just get basic feedback about really what was going on in a, in a very honest way. And uh, you know, so th those types of meetings were actually uh, quite appreciated. And I would say that the real big change in the program came when Oracle uh, bought Sun. Now, you know, Oracle is a different beast. They work very differently for good, for worse, you know, whatever, you know, however you want to value it, value it, it, it you, you know, the point is they work completely differently. And um, so they actually first thought they were going to Borg the Java community in their ACES program. Um, I think they were told that that wasn't going to work. And, you know, this is one of the uh, first sources of heartburn that Oracle had when they assumed the Java community is that they quickly realized that, no, this wasn't going to work. And these things actually did work differently, unlike all of their gazillion other ac acquisitions that had gone, you know, flawlessly and, you know, as planned. And, um, you know, so it's, it's taken a while, uh, I think, for Oracle to try to really understand, uh, you know, how our community works. And I don't think they really understand it. They sort of more tolerate it in the, in the sense. And, and uh, what I've seen is that, um, you know, we still have the breakfast thing, but the breakfast thing is more used as a dry run for what the messaging is going to be for Java 1. I think the first year it went well because we actually were able to give feedback that, yeah, affected like how the, things were going on. The but most valuable part of the breakfast is the unscripted part where you guys ask questions and, and get to um, direct the conversation a little bit. Probably the, the scripted part is not quite as, as valuable as it was in the past. Yeah, um, probably not because the, 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 the messages are so much uh, stronger controlled now than they were. So it, it, uh, you know, we generally don't have as much effect on the message. It's more like a dry run. <clears throat> but um, getting back to the point, 
excuse me, I, I still think that, um, you know, there's still value when the uh, champions interact on the list because the Oracle people, although they're handcuffed and can't respond, they are listening. And they do appreciate, you know, from what I've been told by diff from different parties is that they do uh, often appreciate the pressure that we've applied on, on them in terms of um, helping them or, or guide them as to what the reaction from the general community might be um, to some of the decisions that they've either made or are about to make or are in the process of making, but um, for some reason they've dis not decided to make public. I mean, so for the Oracle people living out there, uh, you know, that are listening to this, you have to say that the Java, ch you know, the Java champions and, and a lot of other people in the community are really observant. They, you know, they see indirect signs of a lot of the decisions that they make. And, and so it, it doesn't take us very long to pick up that something is happening and very quickly we s generally sort out what's going on. And if we feel that this is going to harm the community or cause some damage that, um, then we, we will speak out. And I think, you know, we say that we don't really care about Oracle. Well, I, I, I'm not sure that that's really true in the sense that, you know, J Oracle is where Java lives. So we do care about Oracle in the sense that we want to try to make sure that they're making good decisions, not only for the community, but they also have to be good for Oracle because um, we want to, you know, we w of course we want Java to thrive. We want it to live, right? And we all have our own opinions. Sometimes it's bike shedding. Sometimes it's, you know, a lot more serious than that. Um, but, you know, we care about things. We care about um, um, making sure that the community is able to live and thrive off of this wonderful eco eco ecosystem that Sun uh, managed to, to build up. So, you know, although maybe some of our criticisms might be come off as being seen as rather harsh, I, I think that uh, at the back end, what we really are trying to do is make sure that the platform uh, still does uh, what it, it was intended to do, and it still adequately supports uh, this community or allows this community to grow rather than, uh, shall we say, uh, having Oracle do things that are going to cause people to move off the platform to other technologies. Okay, so um, just to toss out some stuff that we can chat about. Um, one of the things which I think would be interesting to get feedback on from the Java champions of the room is what sort of involvement or support they're looking from Oracle. And I think this could be like an open forum where you guys can discuss what you want. Uh, maybe there's some Oracle folks listening or who will listen later or who I'll send the recording to. <laughs> um, another thing is there's certain stuff which Oracle does today to support the champion program. Um, and one question might be like how we can direct support. Like for example, there's a a Java.net site for the Java champions, which is pretty minimalistic. But we're migrating that to the new community platform, which has a lot more features. So if you have things which you'd like to see like up leveled where you know we could have like an on a community site, either with public or private access, we could look into improving that experience. Um, ideas about the actual content of the Java champions group. I mean, like Kirk was saying, the the, probably the leaders brunch is the one time that really Oracle and the champions get together. So input on what you guys actually want to see or would like to see as Java champions would be helpful. And if you'd want more of that sort of engagement, because that really only happens once a year. Um, there's not a lot of other points other than the mailing list where there's a lot of interaction between Java champions and Oracle folks directly, but there could be. Um, and the last thing is, um, some of you in the room aren't Java champions, and it would also be interesting to hear the perspective of folks who aren't in the champion program about how they perceive the Java champions. Do you, did you even know about Java champions before you came to the conference? Um, are you interested about like, what the champions program is doing, or do you have any feedback on like, what you've seen these crazy guys you know, going around and doing in the name of the Java champions? So that's all. That's all fair game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the floor mics now. And um, I'm going to turn off your mic, Kirk. But I'll keep mine since it's far enough away. And you know, this is your chance to talk and, and heckle and you know, figure out amongst yourselves what we can actually do to either um, improve or, or 
reduce dysfunction, as the case may be. So yeah, just go ahead and speak, Kai. Yeah, one of the things that used to be done when, uh, under Sun is that we'd get uh, pre-briefings of certain things, and that would, so we'd get a feel for where Java is moving to, and that pretty much has stopped. So yeah. for example, it would be a good idea to, to at this time frame for, for the champions to know, you know, what is Oracle's positioning for, for Java 9, you know, uh, something where's Project Valhalla going, that kind of thing. You know, if there was you know, a regular kind of briefing for the security <coughs> platform, um, and where does Oracle think things are going? Or you know, where does Oracle think that you know, Java affects? We've had discussions about that. We never get much of an official position. Uh, would be really helpful to have you know, somewhat semi-regular briefings of where the platform is going according to them. Yes. Go for it. Thanks, sir. Yeah, I don't want to. I think that's it's very good. I um, also want to to thank Oracle for for sending Steve. Absolutely. Um, yeah. It's been really amazing having. Having Stevie with all his equipment and and to help for the week, and actually a lot of the other Oracle people that have shown up, yeah, absolutely, shown up, absolutely, they've been absolutely, absolutely, uh, absolutely, Marcus and we've yeah, Marcus for sure, Alexi yeah. online, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next year, next year, we'll try next year again. So it's it's been really helpful to have the support from Oracle for this, and um, uh, you know I've always said this is like an unofficial Java Champion meetup. We've got uh, twelve champions here, including Steve, of course. Um, <laughs> It's just because somebody is, is a is, is a is a retired it doesn't mean he's not a champion in still is. Now the thing so 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 just just the things basically. Um, uh, I, I personally the briefings that's I personally don't really care my, my personal opinion because I sort of wait for them to, to do stuff and sometimes I, I, I moan about it but um, but others would find it very useful and I can see especially if you're writing books and so on it's very very useful to have of upfront knowledge what's going on. I, I think it helped us when the sun was around because we were able to like assume what was going on, either give fit, feedback on the bits we thought were somewhere. And, and we took on the other parts and if there's some change or whatever that was good, if there wasn't, at least we could understand what the message was and yeah. we would deliver that message or help Sun deliver that message uh, out to the broader public, right? Yeah. So now with Oracle it seems like it's more of a us and them type relationship and yeah. you know we really I don't think are as helpful to Oracle as we possibly can be in helping, you know, deliver those messages out to our networks. And, uh, certainly not as, as helpful as we possibly could be. Um, also, my other Java champions who are listening, um, it's it's very welcome to nominate people who you believe are Java champions. I mean, I've nominated a lot of people, yeah. and um, it's get, it gets embarrassing nominated. Um, actually, quite a few people in this room. <laughs> and, um, it's if you know somebody who you who, who fits fits these criteria of being a luminary in, in the field and a leader, evangelizing and you know respected in their authority, in their authority, please nominate. Them. We don't really want people self nominating them. I mean, we, we actually look at them. Um, often we reject it, but um, ideally the person should be recognized and very often what happens is somebody gets nominated like Martin Thompson for example I nominated him and it's like what yeah it was like you know you must be joking is he not a job of champion already yeah, exactly. and it was like you know 100 pluses in like in like one second yeah. and then it was Val yeah. Um so, so it's basically um, if you if you see somebody who's who's working in job as an expert and, um, and and you and you think he deserves it, even if you're not a job champion yourself, send it to one of us, and we'll put together the nomination. We'll, we'll submit it because we initially the plan was to have a thousand. That was the initial, and then you know we sort of got stuck on a hundred for about a year or two, three, yeah. um, <laughs> five, or three. And um, <laughs> I mean, this has been going on for for ten years, job champion project. Right? And we, the initial plan was a thousand, we had 130, 140 around about there somewhere. Um, and I mean, we don't have to have a thousand, but there are people who are contributing a lot to Java, who've done amazing work, like Mark and Morris, Peter Waterfield. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, it's just a no brainer. 
Yeah. And, 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 and to that end, I wish there was a small cat subcategory where we could actually put the Oracle people in it. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Really absolutely. Like Marcus is here. He's done absolutely. amazing work in uh, the platform. John Rose has been around uh, for years. Yeah. There's, there's so many people yeah. that, that, you know, I mean, we're supposed to be community outreach, but I think, you know, the program is sort of, if it's recognizing people, it should somehow be able to recognize us. Uh, Marcus is left out of it. Can we nominate him? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one one could, but usually, usually with sort of, um, we we like to wait and see a bit to okay. see if he actually is going to do Java or or C sharp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> let's just wait for a few months. Maybe he moves to Python. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. We'll be programming. Yeah. We'll meet Java yeah. one. Then I know myself what I'll be doing. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that uh, in, uh, when Heinz and I were uh, invited to do Sun Tech Days, we found that uh, uh, that we were actually uh, m more able to deliver the message to broader audiences than, than even the Sun people were, even though a lot of the Sun people that were delivering the message were really, really excellent people, that, you know, people that we both respect and we both Absolutely. enjoy Sun watching. And stuff like that, yeah. And, and I don't know why, I guess it's just because they came with the Sun logo or the Oracle logo on their shirt, is that uh, you know, people didn't show up or something like that. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's, that's why no one comes to see you anymore. That's right. Um, but yeah, but uh, right now when someone has an Oracle logo on their shirt, they can say exactly nothing, right? Yeah. So we can actually bring out a message well, from Oracle that Oracle mm -hmm. is simply mm -hmm. incapable of producing. Well, e ex here. except that even Sun used to um, uh, check out our slides before. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. It's on Oh, oh yeah, okay. they wanted, yeah, they wanted to make sure that we weren't going to say anything too offensive, I guess. Yeah, but <laughs> it didn't work too well. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so at the end of the in, in of our, our talk, they had a question, Q&A time, and uh, somebody asked, you know, what, what are the best settings to, to use? And um, and so Kirk said, well, you know, there's this, there's, this, uh, there's this document that you can find and described uh -huh. it on the, on the Sun website. So read that document and do the exact opposite of what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Tony wrote that document and he said I was absolutely right to make that comment. So he was he he was he thoroughly enjoyed it. He, he liked that. They took that document down because they sorted out themselves. But I mean that was a problem because at, at that time no one had figured out the cost models properly. But anyways, yeah. another story. I think. Yeah. So um, yeah. So I, I I think that that's another point was that. It's not well publicized, but I think that uh, you know definitely uh, we are a group that likes to do this, so and we are doing it and supporting it. I think is a, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. So that was that was an open invitation to ask to do more of that because oh, okay. it's a good time. <laughs> okay. um, the other thing I was going to mention is so even though the, I think Oracle's, like you were mentioning, Kirk has, has realized that both for Java user groups and Java champions, there's a big difference. Between the equivalent Oracle product focus groups like um, Oracle, 
Oracle user groups are different than Java user groups. Java champions are different than Oracle user groups. Yeah. Yeah. But one of the things they did recently with the ACE program, which I'll just throw this out as an idea, um, is they did some tiering of the program. Um, so they have Oracle ACE directors and Oracle ACE, I forget, there's like a few different tiers. So the only reason I mentioned this is you were mentioning internal or employees who are no longer champions. Mm -hmm. So it might be possible to do some sort of tiering or something within the champion program to kind of make sure that it doesn't get um, diluted, but then you still get some value. Yeah. No, I mean, I, put, I don't know what the other champions feel, but I see you as a drop of champion in your story. Yeah, like that's, that's luminary. Like what's it? The, the, the luminary. Yeah, yeah dogs it, it doesn't. Luminary and stuff like I mean, that. I mean it, it, there's a it number of people you look at in, in yeah. Oracle and you say, okay, yeah, they're they are Java champions essentially. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, Absolutely. Yeah, they just have to be working for Oracle, so they can't be in a community outreach program. Yeah. But oops, yeah. yeah um, so something I want to also just throw out to Oracle is um, we've got you've got the job user group program, which which um, I am not part of that because I don't have a job user group. <laughs> um, not likely. Pardon? Not likely to have one. No, well, not. Uh, it's, it's unlikely that I'm going to start a job user group in Kanya. It's going to list more than maybe five people. There is one in Kanya? Kanya, I'm not sure. There's not one in Kanya. I will know that. <laughs> there's a software development group in Kanya, but there's not a job group in Kanya. There are job programs here, anyway. I, do, I get, get instructed. Um, if you have a job user group that has got, you know, a thousand members, then Oracle is really interested in you. They invite you to talk and have a chat and you know, how can we reach these thousand people. But then you've got people who have got a far larger impact than a thousand people. I mean, I don't know what impact. I mean, look, around. Kai Hausmann sells like a million books a day a year. You know? okay. Almost. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but more. two million, two million years books a year. He's got a huge impact, much larger than somebody with a thousand people in his job is it? And um, and uh, it, there's there's so much potential um, way that that we as job champions can and actually want to get the message out to the people we need to act with. And um, this is the stuff which Oracle's leaving on the table, and I, I find it. Um, Surprising, rather than annoying or disappointing, because I don't really care too much about it. Because well, I get on with my life, but you know, <laughs> I'm not depressed about it. But the point is, it's just surprising that 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 we have impact. I have mean, about seventy-five thousand people reading my newsletter, and um, but you know, the guy with five hundred people in his user group is more interesting because well, there they can give swag, CDs, and whatever it was. What they do now is t-shirts and, and do the, the, the standard marketing thing. But yeah, well, you, know, you, got, you, you champions get one thing which the um, job leaders don't, which is I interview you. <laughs> 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 so I think, well, not all of the job champions yet, you know, kind of comes an interview at some point, but I, I tend to, whenever I'm at a conference or doing one on one interviews, I'll, I'll round up as many of the job champions. Really representing the job community as possible. <coughs> it might be worth throwing in. So I think they, like when you come to any technology, you come to anything, you're only a virgin once with it. So kind of, I'm, I'm the virgin Java champion this year. I think along with Peter and stuff. And it's interesting seeing the sort of what you thought it was and what it is. Is kind of it's an interesting way you get to see the world. Because like you see job evangelists and you see job champions, like this is my view from what I've seen in the past. I don't understand the job evangelism program because all they seem to do is say, go to this mailing list. That's not very helpful. But I find <laughs> the distinction between a job evangelist and a job champion is a job champion would actually help you if you ask the question. <laughs> Which is a kind of good thing. And I think that's the sort of thing that just needs to be provided. It's simple. <laughs> but the, 
maybe as a group we all need to stop that like as soon as anybody looks for help all they get is go to this user or go to this mailing list <laughs> but one of the bazillion mailing lists that there is on java <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but then this is really really off-putting and hard so I think if we can all do one thing as a group, it's like every time we see somebody doing that, just slap them and say, don't do that. It's <laughs> <laughs> such bad human behavior. <laughs> yeah, certainly um, Stack Overflow has a lot of popularity because they try and use different models of trying to support people. Um, one thing that they're trying to avoid is people just referring them to another website. Yeah. They really want them to get an answer then and there. I think this is really great one where I was, I was trying to help out some of that and uh, people kept doing this and sort of asked us, okay, well, I'm going to log on myself and go through the process. I turn up at the web page and I don't have I think, an email. There's not even a link to go register. So I tweeted, there's no link to go register. And another evangelist responded to me and says, you should be mailing this mailing list. <laughs> I'm making a point and you're just enforcing it here. <laughs> Like someone just pay attention, put a link on this. I can make it easy for people. <laughs> yeah, okay, so as a former job evangelist, you can come straight to me and <laughs> lay all your grievances on me. Another way to be Right. Job evangelist is fast. So I have a question about you said Java.net is going um, to be migrated to a new site. One of the things that was nice about Java.net is they made it pretty clear that if I post something on Java.net, it's mine, and I can you know, do with it what I want. Is that going to be the same on the new site? Yeah, so on the, the new site I was talking about, you, it's actually it's already up, but I, I don't think the content we want is there yet, so it'll be, it's being worked on in the Java time frame. We'll have kind of a whole new, a whole new theme and look and content for it. But um, if you're a Java.net blogger, or if you want to be a blogger, then we'll have the capability to put your blogs on the new community platform. Uh, and it's pretty much uncensored. You can put what you want to retain ownership of the content. Um, it doesn't have the same restrictions as, for example, other, other Oracle assets that even we have to go through CSARP and other approval stuff to get stuff up on the site. Um, and the other nice thing about the, the new platform is, well, it's, it's actually sitting on top of a Java framework for a change. <laughs> hey. Which is, was, was kind of my pet peeve with the last two generations of Java.net, where it, they were on, you know, PHP and other nasty stuff. Um, and it actually has proper, like, portal features. So you can add in, um, Widgets, which will show like Twitter feeds, or will I even get blogs or documents or um, you know snippets of HTML and JavaScript? So you can actually do meaningful things with the uh, with the site without um, breaking the template and having to redesign the whole thing, which was the case with the previous version. So I think it, it should be much easier to do stuff. And um, now would probably be a good time to ask for wish lists because we're currently redesigning the Java Champion. So we, we have we still have the logo that's giving you the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a request for new Java champion logo here? No, that's the quite a lot. Yeah, they, <coughs> it's a little better, I think. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's like an imposing figure, angry with you. Yeah. Yeah. Three three years with the the dude. Oh no, that's the that's the old one. That's the old one. Yeah. 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 yeah we don't have the new. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's on the uh, the old shirts, I guess, and stuff like that. Okay. So it'd be interesting to hear from some folks who are in Java Champions about what your like perception of the program is, or if you if you have any feedback from folks who, who are Java Champions or if you're interested to find out how you are even dominating some of the Java Champions. Why is everybody looking at me? <laughs> no, I was just looking at John behind you. Oh, okay. You just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
Um, so uh, I guess from from outside, you you know normally know about the Java Champion program, but it's not very clear what actually is, is going to happen with the Java Champion, what they do. Um, we we just learned that there there seems to be a lot of interaction at least at some times. Um, there was a lot of interaction. It slightly go, got down with Oracle, um, but from from an outside perspective, it's not very clear. At least not to me. Yes, I've heard the perception that Java champions can get much more information than any other Java developer in the world. They know things up front. And for instance, I was surprised with this whole unsafe thing. Get a Java champions kind of learn in this room, more or less, and participate in this discussion about can Oracle people tell us anything, something about that. I, I was expecting the Java champions would get like more than emails and communications, like, guys, this thing's going away. What, what do you think about that? You know, we are experts in the field, so it's a huge outreach. I mean, in the practice, this doesn't happen. So I'm a bit surprised to learn about that. <coughs> I'm happy that you said unsafe. Yes, you, you're number one. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm not sure we want to talk about science safety. Yeah. No, but <laughs> it was just an example. Say, no? <laughs> but, but actually, I think it's a good example. We had a discussion yeah. on it on the mailing list. You know, there was you know, the, the usual outrage, and then the usual silence of Oracle. And that would have been a good point, I think, where Oracle could say, OK, well, let's have a conference call about that. Because you know, clearly, this is one of those friction points where it's better to have us, you know, as Johnson used to say, and the inside of the tent pissing out and the other way around. Well, okay. what I found is that there's a time threshold. If you're able to keep a discussion going past a certain time threshold, then you'll get more than uh, Donald uh, jumping in on the threat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, I, you know, as an example, the, the, the NetBeans discussion actually pushed beyond that time threshold. And that actually caused uh, <clears throat> some pain, I guess, inside certain parts of the organization um, and uh, I think I think we to, to be fair I, I, I think we actually got uh, a, a better result out of the whole discussion than uh, what was originally going to happen in this case but I, th I think we made a positive difference in that case even though some people in Oracle might be gnarling and gnashing their teeth and saying who are these guys you know, why are they bugging us sense. At least I hope it is. Yeah, so we completely agree with that, the ask toolbar and the Yahoo toolbar and search. Well, you know, <laughs> that unfortunately <laughs> comes down to, to, to uh, trying to convince them that the, the, the money versus the damage, you know, the, the money isn't worth, worth the damage. I mean, uh, there's people that I know that have been sort of like accosted by their neighbors because they're saying, like, we did something with Java and then all of a sudden, you know, our toolbar was hijacked, and these are completely non-technical yeah. people. For so, for them to try to sort out how to rip it out, it's like a it's really, really, really painful. I know I've had to, had to do the same even for having the kids' toolbar or, or search bar hijacked. Yeah, I actually told yeah. people to download the JDK because of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So, so. The, uh, can you call my mom now? <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I she's got reinstalling Windows now, so I'm sure she can. It's, it's a frustrating thing, though, because we've, we've spoken about this so many times. Um, but there's no, there's no response. Okay, you're right. It's my money, money beats. I mean, they make well, how many millions per year of this, and uh, the job shipping's program, they cost them. <laughs> the, the way it so, works so internally is that the product org is treated as a revenue source separate from, say, the support org, which keeps doubling its intake. So it looks like the product org is doing badly, so they do these kinds of things. When it comes to various toolbars, uh, the decision is one level under Larry, and there's not an engineer or a technical person in Oracle who supports it or doesn't consider it a trademark devaluation. De 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 so it's very, very little we can do, and they are very stubborn, very near the top of that to me. And, yeah. uh, and, and I'm, I'm not allowed to tell you how much, I don't know it, but the, even the Ask toolbar, like 10 years after they stopped developing the, the software or whatever, brought in ridiculous amounts of revenue, and I don't understand how, like, how many people click on malware links to bring in with revenue. So it's there because it makes money. Maybe, maybe uh, the money is used to, to uh, expand the travel costs for Java champions. <laughs> well, I, I, I think the point is, is that, um, unfortunately, this issue is going to be settled in the courts because right now, 
Uh, there's certainly a couple of class action suits winding up for uh, for people to sing and for what they consider to be malware. If that's the only thing yeah. that, that, that can so help, I mean, that's how it's going to be. I, mean, I, uh, I, don't, I, I don't understand how, how this decision can be taken uh, at such a high level. I, I understand it's some because it's like desperately trying to get the last revenue this company can before it dies and that brought in the ass too far. Well, actually. They, yeah, sure, but they, uh, but they had other sorts of revenue that they completely but that's another story. At, at the end, their only Java client source of revenue was the toolbar. I, I mean, I think that I think this is a good example. And not only, I mean, I'm sure everybody has the same feeling about about the AS toolbar. But I think that even if we weren't going to have our minds changed by a communication from Oracle justifying it, I mean, I don't think anybody here would would be any happier about the decision if we <coughs> had a statement from the people who made the decision saying this is why we made it. At least we would have something, I feel like at least we could say to people who complained about it. I've actually tried to get people to talk about it that way. It yeah. is impossible and it's on such a high level that I mean it's almost Well that's, that's, that's ob obviously then there's two problems here. One of them is that one of them is a kind of general problem that we think that the, um, the Java Champions program isn't being treated seriously enough as a communication channel. But the other one is that in this particular case, the decision is being made at a level so high that people won't talk about it. I mean, that, that, so that may only pertain to this particular example, which is pathological for, yes, all, for all of us. I think what I hear, well, if I was going to summarize, I think what I hear the folks asking for is better or more frequent communication. And there's an undercurrent of like discussion about what's possible for the technology or how decisions are being made. But even if that doesn't change, at least having more frequent communication and discussion before things are happening would probably be beneficial. Uh, yeah. To, to me, I would, I would more summarize it as it, it seems to feel like people don't really, really feel respected or... Yeah. Right? Taken seriously. Yeah, taken, yeah, taken seriously, right. Respected, yeah, I think that's a good way of putting it, I think. Yes. That's what, what, what my feeling is from what they say. Because there have been some topics that are recurring in the main list and every single year they come over and over and over and that's nothing happens. It's very really frustrating. Yeah, so that's, that part is very frustrating because you just get zero feedback and it's like, you know. But then do you want to be monitored on the mailing list or? No, 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 what we're saying is that, again, the communication channel is, is kind of, well, it's open because we have a mailing list, <laughs> but it, it feels like, I, again, like I care put it, it's like, it looks like it's a relation of us and them. We on this side are saying something, and they on the other side, sometimes they listen. It appears that they're listening, but the message gets the black hole. It, it gets lost somewhere, and we don't know where, and we cannot go further that barrier. We don't know how, if there are barriers, how many barriers. We don't know okay. what's going on. Let, let me toss out another, another thing that uh, you guys can tell me <coughs> what you think. So the, the job leader, Jug leader mailing list, uh, Nicole Scott basically is the liaison for the jug leaders. And she schedules a call about on a monthly basis where she'll invite different people in, whether it's um, you know, Heather to talk about something related to JCP or you know, myself and Char to talk about something related to Java One, um, or even some of the product guys if there's some new product release coming out or something, she'll kind of try to get them to, um, to come in. At least share some information with that set. Um, so probably the, the, the topic, so the timing of interest would be slightly different for the champions. But with some communication like that, like having a, a call or having a chance to actually like ask questions and have a conversation, be helpful with you know, getting the appropriate Oracle folks to, you know, maybe like if there was a lot of security concerns going on back you know, back before we could have got like Milton or something sit on a call and discuss what the current direction is. I mean, this was all stuff which, um, I remember at the time that Milton was trying to get the word out, trying to explain what we were doing without actually, you know, the, only, the only thing which was off the list was talking about specific security vulnerabilities before we patched up. Um, but there wasn't actually a, a conscious effort to deny information. It was just that um, nobody was going to type up an email which will be easily 
implements that it's not just security zero day fixes, it's a general wall of non responsiveness, non information. Um, if you want to get information off them, the simplest way is to read the code or check the commits on, um, on the JDK. Um, that is the most effective means of getting all the information you can't otherwise get. And then, and then we could turn around and say, why are you looking at the internals? So we'll, how else are we going to find out that information? Um, uh, just to how things really work, what, what is it really doing? Um, what, 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 is, what are the changes that are actually happen? Um, so but I think this is more like a general oracle problem. Yeah, I mean, uh, looking at the JCP, we have the exact same problem. We have pretty much no idea what is going to happen in Java 9. What, what is the answer? Well, look at OpenJDK and look at the Japs here. Thank you. That's not how it's supposed to be, work, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. not, not from my perspective, at least. Yeah. So the idea of the Jet was to be more open than the J, J, JSRs, but it's like one little step for us. Um, it seems to be, OK, maybe it is more open. Certainly, seen a lot more come out more quickly, but it's still, still not very open at all. Yes, yeah. so I mean that's one aspect. I think that's important. I think the, I, you know, the calls would be nice if they were, if they could be meaningful. Um, uh, you know, for instance, it would have been nice to say, to, for, I don't, I don't understand the reasoning why whatever was happening in NetBeans was actually uh, kind of so hush hush and. Secret. It didn't seem like there needed to be any hush hush secrecy in the area. We needed to, and we actually needed to know what was going on. Okay, so that, that, you know, if, if Oracle says, okay, we're going to do something because of a reason X, we can look at it and say, ah, okay, well, that's that's uh, unfortunate, and maybe we have to accept it, but maybe, maybe we can ourselves as a group learn how to adjust to this as opposed to uh, find out post mortem. Exactly uh, what happened, and really, at that point, maybe not having any time to make any adjustments for whatever decisions are that are coming down the pipe. Yes, I, I, I would speak in generalities because I was, you know, like you mentioned, I was a job champion. I joined three years ago, about three years ago. Uh, I'm now sitting on the inside movies, <laughs> so to say. But um, I've noticed that there's like a few different types of technology issues. There's, there's stuff which um, is actually uh, things which people are working on and driving towards that are part of the direction of what we're doing. And we probably don't put enough of that out, but it's not it's not something which there's a good reason not to talk about, at least for the Java champions or a smaller group. And that's like, like for example, um, you know, stuff we're working on for Java 9. Even you know when we work on security stuff, we have we have a bunch of internal tech talks, kind of for folks inside the organization to know about what's going on. Um, you know, a clean version of that where somebody looks over and makes sure that we're not actually putting any like internal confidential stuff out would actually be helpful to the job champion, in my opinion. Um, there's other stuff which um, some of the more like controversial stuff, like you know, the toolbar, like Marcus mentioned, it goes up pretty high on the chain. So a whole bunch of stuff which. Um, Oracle, in my, in my opinion, is, is, tends to be a fairly hierarchically organized organization. So there's certain decisions which, even as an employee, even as like you know, being fairly well connected with what's going on, um, you don't have a lot of advanced warning or visibility into, and the decisions are being made up high enough where um, it's it's not something which, even if we wanted to. It could be shared for all things. There's only a few things which fall into that category. But those are the things where, you know, the day after it happens, me and everybody else who actually should be in the loop are kind of figuring it out and trying to figure out how to react because we find it at the same time you guys do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the former case, I think there's a lot of things which actually can be shared quite well and would be valuable. And the latter case is just kind of like in a big company where decisions are being made in the heart. So one of the things that I think Oracle could keep in mind is that you know, we, if anyone is messaging on Java, you know, it's you know, us. You know, we are certainly not shutting up about Java, but the kind of message that we send out you know, is something that you might have a chance at influencing. 
produced, you might want to give it a good try. So when it comes to you know, something like NetBeans or the thing with the where we're designing requirement for outputs or something like that, you know, one can talk about it in a, in a positive or at least neutral way, or one can talk about it in a negative way. And if we don't get any other feedback, we're more likely than not, I think, to take the negative approach. Mm -hmm. I don't see what, how that's going to help the cause. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to step on another light because this is the uncensored discussion. That's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> so if, if you guys could get um, trial accounts for some of the Oracle Java Cloud Service or um, Java SE Cloud Service, which is being launched soon, IoT cloud service. Would you be interested in giving feedback on that sort of stuff from a community perspective? Because there's quite a lot of internally, there's quite a lot of development and focus on it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, there's a whole other side of this because when you go into cloud services, there is like a, a sell part because it's a service, it's actually more of a product that you're selling. But from a, a Java community experience standpoint, we have very little external feedback and validation of what we're doing with some of the um, the Java the Java cloud products we're putting out there. Ah, now you know what we feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club again. <laughs> I think it's kind of a great question. The, the question is back is what does Oracle expect of the group? Because this is all a quick pro quo. Right? People will give their time to do that, but what do they get back in return? So do they get feedback? Do they get listened to? Because Feedback without any feedback on the feedback is just no sense. So there, there needs to be an agreement around what is this contract between the parties. And to me, that, that's kind of the thing that really screams out to me, even the discussion here today. What does Oracle expect of this group? It probably depends on the, uh, uh, what technologies we, we can get our hands on in, in an early access or beta phase. So, so Microsoft was talking about the uh, probably early access availability for all those commercial features, like new mission control stuff, whatever. But we wouldn't probably never get access to it because nobody has, has a couple of licenses for uh, SE Advanced. So, um. Yeah, but I mean, that's, that's another example. Like, um, getting you guys access to Java SE Advanced is probably something which is fairly, fairly doable if we, if we actually have the right arrangement for both getting feedback and also keeping you guys informed about what we're developing and working on, which I think is what you're interested in doing. I mean, I think you should keep us informed. You should offer us those free licenses. If you find no takers, that gives you some pretty valuable information. <laughs> 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 I think something to on first. Returning to the question, what? Well, how do I see the German champions from the outside? Is I see people really knowledgeable in Java uh, that are willing to help. No pointing to read this paper, go to that newsletter, but also don't display the slide where said don't use this or don't account or this may change. Don't use whatever I'm telling right now because it may disappear next week. And they can give an honest assessment. And they say, well, this is where we are heading. I don't think this is the best way to solve things. Maybe we have to rethink that. Or there is something inside that are not working OK. So, and they're not afraid of saying that. Maybe they're saying some of our tools are, have amazing flaws that you have to take into account. So they are willing to say that. They are willing to say everything is perfect. You should do it this way. And maybe we'll change in the future. I don't know, and you don't know. That's what I like about Java Champions. That they kind of, they kind or they may be objective or less subjective. Let's see. <laughs> also, I think people are fairly um, jaded about uh, sales fields or something that comes across as a sales field. Yeah. They, want, they want to see that it's real, they want to see that it has problems and what they are and they know how they, yeah. they can believe they can deal with it. I trust a presentation more, or I, I like the presentations more if they start saying, 
these are the problems, these are the gotcha. You have to take care of these because this exists and it will give you a headache. Not everything is pink, go this way, and this is the happy part. Because most of the time I'm, I'm faced with not the happy part. Okay, so we have about one minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 Left until lunch. I would uh, like to say that uh, maybe one of the problems that uh, how public sees Java Champions uh, group, because we actually don't have communication channel with public, right? We have this Java Champions web page. We just a list of Java Champions without any trace of what we are actually doing. We have individual blogs, but I don't know if there are some feeds or, or just in one place. We have Facebook page with, without any content, right? We have Twitter channel, it's pretty much that also. Yes, the, uh, that's, that's where I look for Joe Champions information okay. and uh, so ever happens. We actually do not generate any contact or information about our activities. Okay, I started the Twitter channel. Yeah. Great. Anybody who would like to have a password, Password, please ask me and then please help contribute. Yeah, okay. Right now, you're getting between. Oh, yeah, it's not like It's my fault, it's, it's everybody's fault. You know? Exactly. We, we should think about some yeah. ways. So what do we want to do? What yeah, message do we do want to send? Okay, maybe there is, there is really like a communication <laughs> from <laughs> Warwick. Send it, send it on the Java Champions Man list. Everyone. No, but the, the, uh, yeah. no, 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 no security. Better by call. <laughs> like I've, I've got about I've got about five people who've got it. Yeah. Hundreds, you have it. Yes. You've got it. Yeah. I've got it. Anybody wants it? You can have it. Okay, let's Something. listen to the Peter. In the next 24 when hours, everybody should tweet at least the one tweet uh, <laughs> on the Java Jenkins channel. Yeah, the, th the thing is, I mean, I, I post a lot of nonsense on my Twitter channel. Yeah, but you have to know, you have to put a tag in, like a Java champion. Uh, something tag in. Yeah, the so right, yeah, now the, 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 right now, the Java champions account retweets everything that a Java champion account. Says. Says. Yeah, and that, yeah, and I also say a lot of nonsense that makes no sense. Yes, exactly. of course. So for a Java champion, right? Yeah. So, so the website of the, cha the Twitter, the Twitter thing is that I generally follow. We generally follow any, any champions. Oh, we've done the champions road. Hold on. Only one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I follow anybody who's a champion. We, we follow anybody who's a champion. Um, uh, and so. And so it's actually quite easy to sort of look at the feed and just retweet stuff that's interesting. But um, I, mean, I don't do it much. Um, yeah, so, so from outside, you know, I mean, just looking at, for example, our website that we've got, we, are, we currently have a Java Champion spotlight of Ben Evans, which has been there for at least two years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When last was updated, up to the way back machine. Yeah, you can. So, 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 as of like April, uh, this is my problem. So, if you don't like the Java Champion website, then you can complain directly to me because I'm going to be helping to build it. Yes. Yeah. Also, the list of currently new Java Champions is very big because there are like 20 that start at new from two years ago. <laughs> yeah, so all of those small problems will be replaced by much. Bigger one. <laughs> 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 you already talked about the Java.net uh, website in Look and Feel? Yeah, well, yeah. Just, what we talked about is there's a new community site that's going to be replacing it with um, all great new features and all great new problems. Yeah. So going back to the Twitter feed, really really quickly, because I know we're almost out of time, or we're already out of time. Uh, I follow it and uh, I see how many people subscribe or follow the Java Champions account. Not that many people send messages to the Java Champions mm -hmm. account. So, yes, they're, they're just consuming what we retweet, but they're not trying to communicate directly with this official Java Champion account. What I think is a big issue, as I said, you have a retweet, like no visibility what is going on in the Java Champion mm -hmm. program. So, what's, what's the point in asking a random question? Send out the newsletter to the world every once in a while. So you put your private Twitter handle on the uh, on your slides? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. If you're private and the Java champion? 
Well, we should I, I, st- I, will sh- I will start doing the yeah, yeah. I want to. We should. Mm. <laughs> Let's draw up the school champions. Yeah. Okay, okay. so I want to thank everyone for joining the Java Champions uncensored discussion and also for attending the last.